This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. I am delighted to be here helping you with playing the guitar. In this quick answer episode, I'm going to be explaining how we can do some strumming patterns in 5-8 time. So 5-8 time is an odd meter. It's similar to 7-8 time. They're both odd meters. But in this lesson, I'm explaining 5-8. There is a quick answer video on 7-8. And I'll also mention that if you're running into 5-4 or 7-4, the same principle applies for strumming in 5-4 and 7-4 as it does in 5-8 and 7-8. So let's dive in. 5-8 time is considered an odd meter. Why is it grouped into that classification? Well, there's two overarching beats in a 5-8 time. And each one of those beats has a different amount of eighth notes that subdivides it. But the eighth notes are worth the exact same amount of time through the whole measure. So, for example, up here on the board, uh, we have two options with 5-8 time. One of those beats is going to have two eighth notes, and the other one is going to have three eighth notes. Or it's going to start with three eighth notes and the other one's going to have two eighth notes. So it's going to be one version or the other. Why does it matter? Well, it's all about accenting. Accenting happens at the start, the one that falls on the beat, so to speak. So the eighth notes get the same amount of time. So it's not like in 2 4 where we have two eighth notes subdividing beat one and then we suddenly have a triplet. It's not like one and two and a, one and two and a, but these ones each get the exact same amount of time. One and two and three. One, two, three, four, five. One and two and uh, they, they all get the same amount of time. So the accenting tells us whether we're in a group of two or in a group of three. One and two and uh, one and two and uh, one and two, two, three, one, two, 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 three. You could say our one, two, three, four, five. So that's two, and then this one would be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, and a two, and one, and a two, and. When strumming, we can first just act, just do an eighth note pattern that uses all of these notes and use that and just do all down strums. So I've got it up here. We're going to first just do at all down strumming. We use the chord progression G. Minor, C, and D. So just keep repeating that. So if we start with this one on top, I've got one. can change up the strumming direction. I usually like to go down, up for the two, and then down, up, down for the three. So it'd be like down, up,
sort of a build on that. I sometimes like to to throw in a little sixteenth, eighth, sixteenth for the two. So down, up, up, down, up, up. I didn't mention these symbols. I figure you've seen strumming videos or strumming patterns before, but the down strum is the the three-sided rectangle and the V is the up. In case you don't know these symbols, I got it written here though. I'm standing in front of it. So down, up, up, down, up, up, instead of down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. So then uh, for the the three, down, up, down. So you'd have down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. So you can try that one with me. A one, two, three, four, five. great options when we're going two plus three. Two eighth notes plus three eighth notes in those beats. And if we're going three plus two, then we do the same things, only we put the three first. So we'll start with one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, all down. One, two, three, four, five. Down, up, down, down, up. Here we have the same option. We've got the three with down, up, down, and then down, up, up for the two. So. Like I mentioned, same principle follows for 5-4. So in 5-4 it would just be two quarter notes plus three quarter notes or three quarter notes plus two quarter notes. Same type of strumming can be done for those at the quarter note level or you could put in things at the eighth note level that would work as well. So two eighth notes would fit into every quarter note. So it'd be like four eighth notes plus six eighth notes and you could have strumming patterns that work that way. But 
five eight, that feel one two one two three. If five fours, if it's written in five four, it may be happening at the same sort of tempo that this exact strumming pattern would work great for. Hope that helps. Take care. We'll see you again. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.